does the creation of real estate videos for your real estate business actually produce more real estate transactions? It does, but it's probably not what you think. What's up guys, Steve with Steve Invest, helping real estate agents, investors, small business owners grow their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. You see, many real estate agents think that the video creation is just for their listings and, and creating a video content to, to market the listings that they have. Now that is good, that is good for um, making that seller happy and it's good for additional exposure, but that's not really what we're talking about today. We're talking about the creation and consistent videos that you would put out every single week in order to produce and procure more business for yourself. Now I created another video on starting your own real estate channel and tips and different ideas on how you can get started and different weekly tips and content that you can produce and put out there. So go ahead and check out that video after you watch this one. Now when you start gaining traction and you're listing a real estate video every single week, what's going to happen is um, based on SEO and, and the search terms that you put into these videos, you're going to start producing more and more people coming and looking at your content. So even a simple YouTube search, for example, if you type in Bonita Springs Real Estate, odds are you're going to see some of our local real estate videos pop up under uh, My Beach Brokers. Now that channel is still new, but if you do, if you type in Bonita Springs Real Estate, you know, a handful of videos are going to pop up in the top 10, which is good because people are typing that in. People that have never met us, they've never been to our website necessarily before, are typing those searches in, they're watching our videos, and a handful of things are going to happen. For one thing, we're procuring potentially new business from that. So the more videos we put out there, the more views we're going to have. Uh, the more that the YouTube al algorithm is going to push our videos to the top. This way we're more searchable and more people are going to find us on a local level. Now by creating local real estate videos, three things are going to happen. And now real quick before I get into that, the the when I say local real estate, it's not necessarily pertaining just to real estate. So go ahead and check out that other video as mentioned because that's gonna really go into detail um, that it's not all about real estate related but it's area attractions and local restaurants and things to do in your area. Because what you wanna do is you want people searching uh, these keyword terms in your local area so that they find you and then they realize you are a real estate agent. Now when people are searching out these keyword and terms, you're gonna rank higher and higher over time if you do the SEO correctly. So that's making sure that your description is on point, your tags, your title is all relative to your specific keywords for your local area, your local attractions. The second thing that's gonna happen is a lot of these people are gonna watch your videos. Um, you also wanna take these videos, put them on social media, uh, use them for email campaigns at least once a week. Every time we do our weekly video, we email that out through MailChimp and it hits our, our database as well. Now, uh, people are gonna start feeding on this content, they're gonna start watching your videos, and what's gonna happen is the, the, the prospect, whoever's in, in need of buying or selling real estate, they're really gonna get to know you. They're gonna get a sense of uh, feeling that they already know you, like you're, you're a friend of some sort. Even if you haven't met them in the past, they already get a sense of who this person is behind the camera. And ultimately, when they meet you, they're not only gonna feel comfortable and confident with you, they're gonna trust you. And trust goes a long way in any business. So um, half the battle is gonna be done for you. Think about it, when you go and you meet a new prospect, or you meet somebody at an open house, or you meet somebody for the first time at a listing appointment, or whatever it is, they automatically have their guard up. Uh, people who have consumed our videos and watched our, our videos, they and we meet with them for the first time, their guard is down. It's unbelievable the difference between somebody that is a complete stranger, has never even really spoken to us before, let alone watched videos, um, to somebody who has watched our videos. The difference is there, there's really no wall in many cases. So this is gonna give you guys a leg up. You're not gonna have to necessarily prove yourself in the beginning. Just be yourself right from the bat. Be yourself on video, be yourself person to person. Make sure you guys watch that other video at the end of this because um, that, that's really gonna give you the necessary ideas 
to stay consistent, post one video a week. I'm telling you guys, it's not that hard. The video, five, six minutes, you're talking about different area attractions and, and, uh, and throwing real estate in there as well. But uh, one video a week is all it takes to get you guys ranking in the search engines and producing and procuring new business to you guys. So there's really only one barrier to entry in this, and it's not the, the fancy equipment. I mean, you can do all this on your cell phone. It's really the, the lack of confidence in getting in front of a camera. I know it's gonna be weird. I know it's gonna be weird editing and hearing your voice and, and, and watching yourself. It's, it's, it, it happens with all of us. I, I can tell you uh, in my own personal experience, you really don't wanna listen to yourself and watch you. You feel embarrassed and everything else, but that's who you are. That's what other people see. So um, that is the barrier, a barrier of entry for 95% of real estate agents. Um, there's plenty of videos out there as well on how to start a YouTube channel. Um, I might go ahead and create one as well because um, I've been through it. We started two channels, My Beach Brokers as well as this one, Steve Invest. And I can tell you there's a lot of tips and tricks. So uh, probably in the next month or so, I'll have another video coming out on that as well. My question to you guys is, do you already have a channel? If you do, go ahead and promote it down in the comments below. And if you don't, what's holding you back from it? What's, what's stopping you? What's your barrier from coming into, into creating a channel yourself? As always guys, if you got one good tip from this, go ahead and subscribe. Um, again, we're gonna have at least one to two videos coming out every single week to help grow your business, and I appreciate the support. See ya.